There is no one among men that has not a special failing. And my failing consists in writing verses. I have broken away from the thousand ties of life. But this infirmity still remains behind. Each time I look at a fine landscape, each time that I meet a loved friend, I raise my voice and recite a stanza of poetry. A stanza of poetry! And marvel as though a god had crossed my path. Ever since the day I was banished to Soon Yang, half my time I have lived among the hills. And often when I have finished a new poem, Alone, I climb the road to the eastern rock. I lean my body on the banks of white stone. I pull down with my hands a green cassia branch. My mad singing startles the valleys and hills. The apes and birds all come to peep. Fearing to become a laughing stock to the world. I choose a place that is unfrequented by men. To help with the theme, Bo Chuai uses mood shifts from burden to hopeful to conservative. He says, there is no one among men who has not a special failing. When he says this, it's like he feels odd. There's no one who's similar to him, and he's an outcast. Also, when he says his infirmity still remains behind, it's like he's hurt inside because of his difference among other men. He raises his voice and recites a stanza of poetry as if a god had crossed his path. He thinks that he has a God-given gift, and that's what makes him special. Not because he's worse than others, but because he's better than others. Now the mood's all nice and cozy, but he feels like he's the only one who recognizes he's good, and others are just going to judge him again. That's where he chooses a place that is unfrequented by men. He keeps his thoughts to himself to avoid getting his feelings hurt. These quotes add together to equal expressing yourself because of his maturity to be alone by himself. It's by his maturity that defines him. The poem's imagery shows the contrast between him and men. The thousand ties of life show that he feels held back by the regular plain life of men. By cutting this tie, it allows him to find his inner self. The banks of white stone are like the final crossing before completely breaking away from mankind and the spell of everyday life. White stone is kind of like a clean slate in the new beginning to his new life of seclusion. The green cassie branch is green because green symbolizes life and vividness. When he examines it, it's like he is seeing his new solitary life. A new life that he will live to the fullest. Basically, all these create the theme of expressing yourself by his choice of expressing himself elsewhere, rather than with other people that will judge him for simply being himself. Diction plays its role in the poem by showing how his choice to express himself falls all into place in his life. When Poe looks at a fine landscape or a loved friend, he has to cheer to the sky. This is because when he sees the true beauty of nature, it fills him with happiness, a happiness that he couldn't find in mankind. After that, he pulls down that green cassia branch again. This time around, Bo chooses a cassia branch. Cassia tree pulp is known for its healing properties. What this means is that nature is healing him from the sting of criticizing men, and this new life won't be like the men that hurt him. Overall, by choosing to live alone, he feels more at home than what you and I would think of home. 
Basically, this goes to show that when you express yourself and make your own choices, good things will come, physically or emotionally. Bo Chua uses many mood shifts, bursting images, and many connotative words to bold out the main theme of the poem. To express yourself with no regrets. Pride and hope display the most moving parts of the poem. Pride develops what kind of person you are, and hope enables you to show that pride you have. The symbolism of the poem drastically brightens the theme. The colors he used each define a different part of life. White is cleanliness, and green is life and vividness. He uses these to increase the feeling of pride and hope. The connotative words are the foothold of the poem. Without these words, there would be no mood or images. Altogether, these create a poem with a great theme behind it. This connects with Buddhism because of the prevailing need to find your inner self and live harmoniously. Fundamentally, it holds in our elemental nature to express our thoughts regardless of what other people think. In that way, the true quality of life flourishes to its fullest. So what you want me to do? I'm expressing with my full capabilities And now I'm living in correctional facilities Cause some don't agree with how I do this I get straight and meditate like a Buddhist I'm trying to get this It's crazy! Oh my god! 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 Oh my god, we're in the middle of it. We were on this to the side. Dang it. Sing! Go, Brandon, go. Go hard. Like, climb. Climb to the Eastern Rock. That's oh, great. Right. Hurry up. No, 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 don't look at the camera. Go. Next. Uh, go to the Eastern Rock. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>